I forgot my good mic was over here. Hello everybody, good buddy here 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 with uh, Dingle Wrinkle Tinkle outside the Binkle. And so last we left off, Saika was not we we saw that everyone outside the school is getting fucked. Yes. So and Saika's not taking it very well. So let's see what's up. What was in your video, Taka? I saw! Sorry, it's gonna take me some time to figure out how to put into words. What should I do? Everyone's really upset. I mean, how could anyone be calm right now? Why? How can I... How can something like this even exist? I don't understand. I don't... Do we do something like this? It's because they really are the murderous fiend. What was in your video? Ugh. What was in your video, Sakura? I'm sorry. My family. But I'm not upset by what I saw. If you're overpowered, you must accept your death. That is the way of my family. Damn. But still, I refuse to believe they would lose so easily. How? What was in your video, Kyoko? Well, why should I tell you? That's fair. What about you? What was in your video, Hifumi? Um, so it would seem. Before you go asking someone else, it's only polite that you say what you saw first, don't you think? Well, I. Why are you covering your ears? Yes, indeed. I don't want to hear yours. I don't want to say mine. It's the art of see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. I don't think that's how it works. Hey, Makoto, these videos are some kind of hoax, right? Right? I want to think so, but... What the hell? Oh, what the hell, man? <laughs> this is all one big lie. It has to be. <laughs> Not so. Oh, cool. Okay. So I can at least get someone a Pwezzy. Yeah. Let's go see where she went. Where could she have gone? She can't have gone far. I should check around the school. Saika. Hmm. Girl's room? girl's bathroom. Obviously, I can't go in. Uh, that's the stairs. Sayaka! Where'd you go? Oh! Did you see her? Um. Where'd Sayaka run off to? Anyway, that video was pretty convincing. I almost thought it was real. Because it's fake, right? It's gotta be. I like to believe that, but... It was real. Hmm. Bathrooms? There she is. I found her in the corner of one of the empty classroom. She was sitting in a chair, hands on her knees, staring absently at the floor. She looked like maybe she was upset or angry or... No. She didn't have any expression at all. There was nothing on her face that you could call emotion. It was as if her original mask had been stripped away. S Saika? Are you okay? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm fine. Actually, no. How could I possibly be fine? Uh, what did we do to end up like this? Why are they doing such terrible things to us? Why? I want out! Why? Let me out of here right now! Saika, calm down! As she thrust around, I grabbed her by the shoulders. Huh? I understand. I know how you feel right now. When I think about what might have happened to my family. But now, more than ever, we have to stay calm! 
This is exactly what they want. They want us to lose our composure and stop thinking rationally. Think about it. Those videos have to be fake. Because if those things really happened, people out there would be in an uproar. Our families, the police, everyone. Right? So let's just calm down, okay? Otherwise, we've already lost. I knew I was trying to convince myself just as much as her. I kept repeating those words to myself to clear away the images that had been burned into my brain. Be calm, okay? Just be calm. As long as we work together, I'm sure we can find some way out of here. And help might even come before that. Uh, but, uh, but if there isn't a way out, what if help never comes? If that happens, then I'll get you out of here myself, no matter what it takes! When I said that, I paused. I had no idea what had come over me. Oh, Sayaka? Please, help me! Her voice was small and shaky. Why? Why is this happening to me? To kill or be killed? I just can't take this anymore! Sayaka... <laughs> oh. Finally, she raised her face up from my chest. She looked at me with those big, wet eyes of hers. Makoto! Can I... can I believe what you just said? Huh? That you'll help me get out? No matter what it takes? A absolutely Makoto! Makoto, you're the only one I can trust, so please! No matter what happens, Please always be there for me. I need you on my side. <laughs> huh? O of course I'll be there for you. No matter what, I'm always on your side. I mean, you are my assistant after all. Makoto. Thank you, Makoto. Hearing you say that, I feel like I can keep going. I... I can get through this. As long as you're here with me. Because I'm your assistant. Like you said, I'm your assistant. <laughs> the smile I'd come to know so well returned to her face. It felt a little forced, but still. It was a huge improvement over how she was before. Hey! Uh, hey! It's standing up! Ah! Ah! Makoto, it's standing up. What's standing up? Come you didn't have to ask. Your flagpole! Get the hell out of here! No, no, no! I want to join in! Damn it! Well, if you won't just leave, then tell us what the hell is up with those videos. Uh, it's about to come out. I'm gonna come out my pristine, pure white. Yeah. Stuffing! Be <laughs> honest, honest and innocent stuffing is about to come gushing out. I balled up my fist, took aim, and swung as hard as I could. I'd never put so energy in a single motion before in my life. I leaned back, channeling all my power, and let go with everything I had. Uh, are you okay? If I hadn't avoided your punch, you would have been just violated school regulations. Oh boy, are you slow, 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 slow? I could have done the thousand dollar four course dinner in the time it took you to finish your swing. <laughs> your speed, agility, alertness, passion, boldness, sense of despair, agonization, it's all lacking. Um, what the heck was that just now? He just wanted to mess with us. Uh, um, well, for now, you want to just head back? That was fucking weird. Yeah. Monokuma had come along and swiftly destroyed the good mood we just created. Saika and I headed back to the dorms. You should get some rest, Saika. You still look pretty shaken. Sorry. I'm sorry for making you worry about me. You're right. I'm gonna go lay down for a bit. With a nod and a small bow, she disappeared into her room. <sighs> now on my own, I decided to the head off to tell everyone that she was okay. Okay, hold on. I forgot a thing. Okay. 
once that was done, I decided to go back to my room. It was hard to think after watching that deranged video. I needed some rest on my own. Jeez. Seriously, what's going on here? There's just so many problems. I can't even decide what the biggest problem is. That we're trapped in here? That what we saw in the video might be real? Monokuma? What the mastermind has in store for us? Or are we our biggest problem? I want to get out of here. But I could never kill someone. Do the others all feel the same? Yeah, that's definitely the biggest problem right now. Hey! Huh? When I opened my eyes, I darted immediately to the clock. It's almost ten. I fell asleep without realizing it. Nighttime's about to start. So how come someone's here? I don't know. Whoa, wrong way. Hello? Sorry. I'm really sorry to come by so late. Saika? What's up, girl? What's up? Saika, what are you doing out so late? That's when I noticed. Her body was trembling. I is everything okay? It was so strange. Well, what happened? Something weird? Something really weird just happened. What? Makoto. Just a little while ago, I was laying down in my room. And all of a sudden, my door started rattling and, sh and shaking. Her voice sounded like all the air had been squeezed out of her lungs. Just hearing her talk made me tense up. I was so scared. Like someone was trying to force the door open. My door was locked so they couldn't get in, of course. But they started shaking the door harder and harder. I was so scared I couldn't even move. S so what happened? After a while, it just stopped. I let some time go by. Then I got up and opened the drawer outside to check. Lakota. But there was nobody there. Someone, someone tried to force their way into your room? But who would do something like that? I mean... It's not like I'm suspicious of anyone here, but still, it makes me nervous. If something like that happened in the middle of the night, what would I do then? You don't have to worry about that, right? I mean, we, we can't go outside during nighttime. But... But that's just a promise we made, right? If someone decided to break that promise... Then... Why don't you stay in my room tonight? Would that make you feel a little better? Huh? What? It all said in the school regulations that we had to sleep in the dorm rooms, right? It didn't say specifically which room each person had to sleep in, so... Hey, um... But two people sharing one room is... you know... Ah! Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't even think about that. Honestly, that didn't even cross my mind. No, I, I know, me either. It's just, uh, it's not I even mind the idea, but I, uh, um, if you don't mind, could we maybe switch rooms just for tonight? Switch rooms? If it'll help put your mind at ease, then it's totally fine with me. But I, I don't mind you staying in my room, but are you sure you okay with me staying in yours? That doesn't, like, concern you? <laughs> it's fine, I trust you. In that case, then... Hello. <clears throat> this as such, soon the door's okay then. Sweet dream. Alright. Mm, oh man, it's already nighttime. Okay, so it's settled. I'll head to your room right now. Oh, if we're gonna trade rooms, we better trade keys, too. <laughs> oh, that's right. We'll have to trade keys. Again? Like I said, I'm psychic. Uh, ain't you gonna say you were just kidding? <laughs> what if I wasn't just kidding? <laughs> Something resembling a smile had made her way into her face. Thank goodness. It looks like she's already started to get back to normal. Okay, we, we, we'd better trade keys, then. Okay. Yep. Let's do it! We exchanged keys. When I looked back up at her again, there was another word expression there. Uh, um, 
Poto, please be careful. If someone comes to the door, d don't open it, no matter what. I won't. The same goes for you, Saika. No matter who it is, just don't open your door for anyone. <laughs> even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? Oh, by the way, just so you know, my, my bathroom door tends to get stuck. There's a little trick to opening it. You have to turn the knob, then lift up on the door while you pull it out. Just do that, and the door should open no problem. Mm, okay, but the showers don't work during nighttime, right? Oh, that's right, I totally forgot. <laughs> I guess I might use it when I get up in the morning, so thank you. Okay, well, I I'd better get going. See you tomorrow, Sayaka. Hey, oh, um... and about what I said before? Hmm? <laughs> when I said I was psychic, it really was a joke. Honestly, I'm just very perceptive. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Good night, then. See you in the morning. So I could get me one last parting smile, and I headed off to my room. I looked around as soon as I got into the hall. Ugh. Sorry, leg. Everyone else's door was closed. There was no sign of life. <sighs> Good, there's nobody here. Making sure no one's around to spot me, I rushed into Sayaka's room. So this is Sayaka's room. Doesn't really look any different from mine. Smells nice, though. Let's have a look-see. How's the bed? The bed itself looks exactly the same, but knowing Sayaka slept on it makes me look forward to trying it out for myself. Ooh. More gifts. Hold on. Chair. Anything in here? It's kind of weird to dig through other people's trash. I couldn't help taking a quick peek. That's... And you kind of doubt it. It's a DVD with her name on it that we found in the AV room. That reminds me. I never did get a chance to find out what was on her video. Probably best I wait until she brings it up again. Not good. If I remember right, all the girls' private bathrooms have locks on them. I'm a little reluctant to go in. Let's see. Wow, lots of things. Ooh, cupboard. My room came with a toolkit. Psyche has a sewing kit, just like the note said. Next to it is... The map of the body's vital organs! Lovely! I don't think Sayaka would like me sleeping around too much. I should probably go to bed soon. As I lowered myself into Sayaka's bed, a, present f a pleasant fragrance enveloped me. Sayaka's scent. Maybe it will bring me some sweet dreams. Feeling a little better than before, I fell asleep. Imagine you're all in a big spaceship in the middle of an intergalactic adventure! You've heard of Noah's Ark, right? We're sort of like that. We've set sail and left Earth behind! Here, you don't have to worry about crazy neighbors, corrupt cops, drunk drivers, and pyromaniacs. You don't have to worry about the ozone layer or asthma-inducing air pollution. And of course, you don't have to stress about studying for finals or practicing for the big game. But, what do you know our divine world of freedom has a few rules? After all, freedom can only exist because of rules. If you're really dead set on returning to that tiny piece of dog poop you call Earth, please do your best to follow the rules. I hope I made myself perfectly clear. So then, let's everyone do our best to follow these new guidelines and live happily ever after together! Thanks, Monokuma. Yeah, yeah, it's morning. Good morning, everyone! Get ready to greet us! Get ready to greet. Oh, I forgot to fucking talk! Oh my god! Alright. 
morning, gotta go do breakfast. I can't believe I forgot to talk! I left Saiko's room and made my way towards the dining hall. A few people had already gathered at the dining hall by the time I got there. Hello, Makoto, and good morning! Can you believe it is the very first one here this morning? I was the very first one! Ha ha ha! Good morning! Hey, Makoto! Morning! I suppose I'm early. I figured everyone who had arrived on time could be considered model high schoolers. And the ones who showed up a little late. Yo. Yo. Sorry. Sorry I'm late. My makeup just could not cooperate this morning. Ah, well, hello. My apologies, ladies and gentlemen. My morning. Ah, duty. Took a little longer than usual. Gross. Were the types with a bit more relaxed sense of time. Most high schoolers fall in this category. And finally, the one ones who kept everyone waiting forever. Indeed. I suppose I'm late. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. My bad, my bad. My bad, guys. Slept right through my alarm. What's your oh, problem? Is it so, so awful to be late? Yo. I didn't oversleep, just so you know. Nope. Got lost. I blame the Bermuda Triangle. Don't care about time or other people in general. They're the kind who just move at their own pace. But regardless, everyone had arrived. Bullshit, where's Togami? At least that's how it was supposed to go. Hmm. Wait, aren't we still missing some people? Oh. Yeah, Saika and Byakuya haven't Byakuya, but haven't aren't here yet. I don't know about Byakuya, but I would definitely put Saika in the model high schooler category. So for her to be late. What? What's going on? Something happened? Yo. Hey man, you seen Saika? <laughs> Why would I have? I just came straight from my room to here. Um, Did she forget about our breakfast promise? However, I got the sense she always has stuff. Oh, I got the sense she always has her stuff together. Listening to everyone talk like that, a small dark speck of unease rose up inside of me, and that speck started to grow quickly. I, I need to go. I have to check on her. The words had barely left my lips before I flew out into the hall. Where I headed first was my room, where I let Saika stay for a single night, where she was supposed to be safe. But over the course of that one night, oh my god, the room had been completely transformed. What the hell? This is the replica sword I brought back for self-defense. It's been taken out of a sheath. More importantly, where's Sayaka? There's a keychain on the ground. It has my name on it, so it must be my room key. I gave it to Sayaka when we traded rooms. This is the replica sword I brought back to self-defense. She's for the replica sword. The sword itself has been removed. There are slashes and gouges on the walls and the floor. More importantly, where's Saika? Door's been busted open, my man. I'd better check the bathroom. Let's take a look inside. It took me a second to realize I was screaming. What I saw duck its way through my eyes and buried itself in my brain. And then, and then, everything went black. Deadly life. Wrangle Tushish. <laughs> 